Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Mod Fallout in Vegas. This is James Seth Lynch, so... Uh, something I want to make clear on. I didn't know the previous episodes were that freaking black, okay? Uh, something is happening with the new converter I have that makes it so when it's dark, it's really dark. So, uh, I'm going to avoid playing in dark areas. Um, but when I am, I'm always going to keep my pip boy light on so you guys can at least look at something. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the courier's backstory. Uh, your character's backstory in this game. It's really... It's really, really, um, flexible. And it's, it's dived into in, uh, various areas and a lot in the DLCs. But basically it, tr it, it comes down to this. Your character traveled a lot. I mean, you've been to so many, many places. But it's, it's optional. You can... It's optional, you don't have to say that you've been to this place. Like, you can say you've been to Utah before. But basically, it leaves a lot of room for metagaming into role-playing. Uh, because, basically, I can know about the NCR and I can know about Caesar's Legion. Um, and I can, I can know somewhat about the Brotherhood of Steel. And it allows um, you to develop these biases, but still continue through them in roleplay from an in-character point of view, just because of how flexible your character's backstory yeah. is. You don't have to be ignorant about uh, everything. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, that, th that will be going, that will be gone into, into in depth, and, uh, just keep that in mind, uh, for this conversation here with Veronica. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. Where'd you come from? Yeah, this I'm not entirely sure is one of those uh, one of those subtle things that may hint at the whole uh, uh, amnesia thing, but yeah, it's it's much more optional. Uh, the grave. Huh. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Well, welcome then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. You live in a hole in the ground? Well, a bunker, if you want to get technical. I think it sounds more interesting my way. But I'm not there much anymore. I'm usually out here picking up food and supplies for my family. Whatever they need. So you just leave your family in the bunker? Yeah, I'm not worried. They can handle themselves. But somebody has to get the groceries, know what I mean? And actually these days, I think they'd rather have me out here anyway. But that's a whole other story. So, listen, can I ask you something on the level? Uh, some other time, maybe. Sure. It's a small wasteland. I'm sure we'll run into each other again. Goodbye. See you around. I actually forgot something. Uh, ah. Mentax. Uh, Charisma, perception, intelligence temporarily. Couldn't get enough of talking to me the first time, huh? Oh, and um, as with Niner's little rant earlier, uh, she is, uh, well, she could be bisexual, but I don't know. She, yeah, she, yeah. Uh, what did you want to ask me earlier? I had a run in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Oh, I could have gotten that without taking Menta. Oh, come on! 
Uh, I met a group of. Oh. Oh, so. Okay. <laughs> I thought I would have to take Mentats to get this little check, but okay. I met a group of them in a bunker west of here. And? I'm reserving judgment. I don't care for them. That seems wise. I think I am too. Although, for how much longer? I'm not sure. Hey, so, where are you headed anyway? Uh... I go where I'm needed. Guess we have that in common then. I'll be honest. You're the first person I've run across out here that looks like he can really handle himself. There are places I've never been to that'd be too dangerous for just me. What do you think? Maybe we could travel together. Help each other out. And this dialogue is one of those sort of background things. It, it, it really uh, lets you s sort of speak your character's uh, motives and goals with that. To some extent. And I, I really like the role pay the massive options that you have in, in dialogues like this one. Uh, don't you have a family to feed? Like I said, they can handle themselves. And I'm not the only one getting supplies for them. It's a big family. Where are you hoping to go? Oh, nowhere in particular, really. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups have adapted to survive in the Mojave. See if there's something I can learn from. You don't look like much. What do you bring to the table? Hmm. Good. That's the look I was going for. Trust me on this one, though. You'll be glad you brought me along. If I turn out to be a burden, we can part ways at any time. No hard feelings. Okay, let's travel together. Now you're talking. One thing you should know first, though. I ask you about the Brotherhood because I'm one of them. I know, I know, but... I had to know how you react when I told you. We have made a lot of enemies. You still okay bringing me along? Actually, I'm more comfortable now that I know you've had some training. I'm great at punching people. I'm not gonna lie. It's a gift. Well, thanks for taking a chance on a naive young girl from California with stars in her eyes and a pneumatic gauntlet on her hand. Let's hit the road, huh? She has literally the most useless companion perk um, since Lonesome Road. Because, uh. <laughs> ah, 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 God damn. God damn, don't eat. Anyway, basically, you can just use her as a, as a workbench. <laughs> that kind of sounded wrong, but. What's up? You, you, she can help you with crafting. So she will actually give us a lot of insight into the fall of the Brotherhood and some backstory into the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, I have questions I wanted to ask you. He was dead when I got there. What? Okay, tell me about the Brotherhood of Steel. It pays like ass, but it's hard to get other work with my skill set. What do you want to know? <laughs> uh, what's their purpose? Good question. These days, it's hard to say. Once upon a time, it was about technology, controlling it so it couldn't destroy us again. Energy weapons and power armor are usually tops on our list, although I appreciate anything that's vintage. But that all seems so limited now. We haven't grown or adapted, and now we're stuck in a hole, not carrying out our mission. That uh, was the toll controlling technology so it couldn't destroy us again was more of what happened after the Brotherhood of Steel versus New California Republic War. How did you get to be a member? More sexual favors than I can even count. I am still tired from it. No, actually, you're born into it. My parents, their parents, so on. When you're young, you can choose to leave, but it's home, so most people don't. We don't take on new members, really. You can do the math on our long-term prospects based on that point. I keep hoping we'll change that. So they don't recruit new members. Got it. And they're probably really, really inbred. Ooh. 
Okay. What do you do for them? I'm a procurement specialist. Like I said, it's basically grocery shopping, except sometimes the groceries are scavenged parts and arcane technology. The elder who brought us to the Mojave, Father Elijah, usually had me looking for these old memory units, but he'd never tell me what they were for. Nowadays, I'm usually sent to do business with traders at places like the 188, but sometimes I think it's just to keep me out of everyone's hair. Hmm, Elijah. Do you like being a member? I know sometimes I sound like I don't. I know. But there's something that still rings true to me about our code. There's an honor to it. We're protecting people. Even if it's from themselves, it's a good cause. We just lose sight of the big picture sometimes. Treat all our practices with the same sacredness. What's the codex? Ah, the codex. If it's in there, we have to abide it. If it's not, it's not important. It documents our history, too. Part of what scribes like me do is update it. Hmm, I wonder. Nah, they'd probably catch it if I rewrote the Founder's axioms. <laughs> does, the pro does the Brotherhood... Uh, does the Brotherhood protect people from raiders or other threats? No, no. We only protect people from themselves, and only in the sense that we don't let them have the really good pre-war toys. And sometimes it's more like we protect ourselves from them and hope to outlive them and become humanity's sole heirs. We've had people go rogue, though, and start helping people. One chapter had a small civil war over it. We take our isolationism seriously. I think that's having to do with the uh, Chicago Brotherhood Store. Or maybe the... Maybe the... Uh, the East Coast one, but that would make sense since I don't know that the, the, they were isolated after they broke off before the Civil War happened, so I don't know. Who is Father Elijah? He was our elder when we came east. A wizard with technology, really. His mind just worked that way, naturally. I learned a lot from him. But he started having disagreements with the other elders. The Brotherhood's interest is in old technology. He wanted to explore developing new tech. And there were other ways he wanted to push. Other weapons. Ones with ethics questions attached. Rather than deal with him, they sent him east. Uh-huh. Never mind. Darn it. I had some spectacular answers coming, too. Alright. Uh, I have questions I wanted to ask him. This better not be about the meaning of life. <laughs> Uh, know anything about New Vegas? Yep, it's your typical city layout. Rich people in a gated community surrounded by extreme poverty. House gave the area around the strip to the locals, but he has no interest in it, so he ignores it entirely. It just needs new management. I'd love to see the Brotherhood do it, but since the Codex doesn't say clean up Freeside, no one listens to me. Bunch of sticklers. Alright, well, goodbye. See you around. Let me save here. And uh, you know what that means since you're watching the timer on the video. I will see you guys in the, no in the next episode. First we have to look at Kelsey. I'm stuck in something. Spooky shadows. Hello. Bye everyone.